Um, my collaboration started now a couple of years ago because I think for me, um, having worked in fashion, you, you soon realise that things don't always happen as quickly as, as you think they're going to happen. So although this is our second collection, um, the, the time that's gone in, the effort, the planning, it, it, the choices that we've made over the designs and the direction that we're going to take, it, it's been a while and it's been considered and that's what I've really liked about it. We've really taken our time about this. Um, this all came about. Firstly, I'm uh, I'm from Norfolk, um, and this is where um, Start Right are also based. It's the home to Start Right, and um, I was also a Start Right kid. My mum always had me in Start Right shoes. In fact, I've still got my first pair of Start Right shoes, and um, so I've always understood the ethos behind it with their fitted footwear, which my mum always you know, insisted was really, really important. And she used to be a nurse as well. So I think that when you're brought up to understand, you know, what a good pair of shoes can do and how they look after your feet, um, you know, you have a huge respect for that. And also then it just seemed like the most automatic move. You know, I've worked in fashion now, but this seemed like a really nice progression um, to explore. And I think just the, the feedback, the response has been incredible. The way that they look, I'm so proud of, of, of everything that we've produced. This season's collection has been inspired by quite a few um, ideas, but um, we did look at the sort of more luxurious um, Baroque sort of feel of things that's been out there as well. And also just the names um, as to how I you know, came up with um, what we've, we've named the, the collection and the shoes. I, I wanted to keep it with the musical vein. So the first collection had operatic titles and the second collection's got operetta titles because it's a lighter season, it's a spring summer season. So um, I just wanted something that's going to look classic that mums and children obviously are going to love and that is going to have everything that you know you're looking for as as a buyer that they're going to be durable you're going to get you know your value for money and they're going to look fantastic that's something i really really feel um i feel very very um passionate about that the shoes they're children's shoes but you, you don't want children walking around like in clown clothes the first thing that i find that um, quite surprising is as soon as people start designing for children everything's covered in abc and primary colors but you know they're children they they, they, they want to look stylish and and children know their own minds as well My children are my little muses, so it's like we've almost got um, a focus group in my kitchen. So when the first um, edition of, of the shoes come through, the first samples, I put them all out and I like to see which, which shoes my children go for. Having two girls, it's also nice to get the boys' opinion, so I get my godsons over as well. And um, yeah, I mean, how can you not be influenced by your own children? Um, you learn very quickly, you understand, uh, you'll get an understanding as to what they like to put on, how they work with vel Velcro straps, how they work with buckle straps, and, 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 and just... Um, what children like, well, mind you, you say that, but it changes every day, right? Uh, when it comes to where the inspirations come from, obviously you are going to look at and be influenced by what is going on on the adult catwalks. But um, again, I still think, and I feel very strongly that children should look like children. So I will get inspiration and maybe look at the colours and the mon monochrome influence, for example. Um, the brogues um, and well just whatever else is on the catwalk but I think first and foremost I want the fit to be right and you obviously want them to be comfortable but you want them to look really really cool you want them to look luxurious and I think what we've done is we've put together a perfect combination of both those things and I think it's as well I like mixing textures I like there to be an element of surprise so for example the leopard print that you find within the shoe there's just always something more to look at there's always added detail and the heritage that um, that Start Right has you know I rely so heavily on their knowledge um, at the same time I think it's nice to be able to go into the meetings and go look leopard print Print. let's just do this in, in, in bright red and, and they listen they take that on board and, and they put up with me so thanks guys I get asked this a lot do I design for, for mums or, or the children I think first and foremost the children are the ones that lead the buy. I mean, there, there comes a certain point where people refer to pester power, where there's only, you know, you only have so much control before the, the children are saying, I want to go out in dealy boppers and welly boots and no one can stop me, or you can try. Um, but, you know, I, I, I know as a mum what I'm looking for. 
Um, and I also know that I want my, you know, my children to be happy. So I think the answer to that is for both, really. And I think that when you've got a mum who is designing for the mum and the children, who has that, that double understanding, you know, you're going to have a different kind of design. I don't profess to know everything at all. I'm still learning as I go along. But at the same time, um, you know, as a consumer, I know what I like. The shoes that I'm making at the moment are, are shoes that I would have loved to have worn for sure, but actually I want to wear them now. I kind of, I've said to start, I can't you just make them in bigger samples so I can wear them, but I, I mean, these for example, I mean, ow, they hurt my heart. Um, these really are a labour of love. I, I look at these shoes and I think that they don't have to just be your standard primary colours and flash, flashes and whistles and sparkles, but you know, they, they can go with everything and look classic. First and foremost, I have Start Right's um, experience to, to lean back on, which is fantastic. So um, if there's any sort of far out ideas that I suddenly come up with, you know, they can either reel me back in or totally, you know, push me to the forefront. And it's nice to bring that more fashionable edge um, and surprising edge to um, their designs as well. But what I really look out for is that I want something to be eye catching. When you're walking down the street and, and you see a pair of shoes and you know instantly that the handwriting on that shoe is so identifiable that you know that that will be a, like a, a mining class for start right design. I think when you train as a musician you have to have a real... Uh, when you train as a musician you have to have a real sense of versatility. And so I don't see what I'm doing today as a huge departure from what I studied at, weirdly. I think the creativity is still there, the idea of working with a group and listening and, um, and, and just coming up with creative ideas. I really enjoy that process. I am desperately holding on to the reins at the moment as to um, who gets a choice. It's still me, barely. Um, I think just purely because I do want them to make their own choices, of course, and, and um, to express themselves. Um, but at the same time, I need to get out of the house. And as any mum will tell you, when you're waiting for your child to try on their third, fourth tutu outfit, and you know they make as sort of many, many um, costume changes as we do as adults, it can take a long time. But yeah, of course, I like to see what their choices are. I like to be guided by them. But I just like to move things along a bit. Uh, I think the same way that everyone else does, just a hope and a prayer and just chancing a lot of it really, just hoping that you know you can fit it all in. I look at all the other mums here even today and you know we were just discussing how does anybody fit it all in. I think you just kind of, you, we, all, we all just get away with it really don't we? Plans the rest of the year, it's just to see you know my start right collection. Um, grow bigger and bigger and expand and get, go into different territories that'd be wonderful um, and I've done it with ex existing um, projects so I don't feel that it's something that you know it's just a pipe dream this is something that is you know th that we've realized and that I would really love to see um, come to fruition but yeah the, the fact that even just to walk into Meadow Hall here and, and see the shop window with the, the photos that were so long in the planning and then the designs as well and even just looking at the, the, the children and how we thought that how are we going to get them to stand still and how are we going to get across the message of what we're trying to portray it's just really lovely to see it all come together and see it in that window so we'd just like to see a few more of those windows out there and meet more of the customers meet more of the children I've been doing the fittings start right taught me how to become a fitter and I mean again this is the thing it's like I started off as a musician. I should be locked in a practice room somewhere um, doing scales. And I really love the fact that, you know, I've been able to branch out. And I never would have dreamed that any of this was possible, that, that, that this would be a reality. So this is wonderful. I'm enjoying every minute of it. So more, basically.